How you doing guys, back again with another video and as promised, I've got the Alanzi 65mm telephoto lens review for you today. Now I'm filming currently using the iPhone 11 Pro Max and the 65mm tele lens from Alanzi as well. Now that B-roll sequence that you saw at the start of the video there was shot completely using this setup. This lens and that phone, completely shot using that and I thought the footage that we got out of it looked absolutely amazing. So if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Everything I do shot just using a smartphone, no DSLRs allowed. So if that's something you're interested in, getting top quality footage just using your smartphones, then consider subscribing. Now, when I first saw this lens, I was really pumped just purely on the fact of the price of it. I mean, it was 25 pounds, which is absolutely ridiculous and I have had no issues with it whatsoever. It's performed absolutely amazing. This lens is 100% gonna be staying with me at all times, and especially now Yolanzi have dropped some of those new cases that have the 17 mil thread built directly into them. This thing's just never gonna be coming off my phone. So let's go through a few things. Let's talk about a few points about this lens. Some of the things that I don't like and some of the things that I do like about it. Now, as I mentioned in the impressions video, it comes in a nice little pouch, which I've kept it in and carried it about with me in my backpack. Now, one of the things that I mentioned was that the clip they've got for that lens doesn't necessarily fit that well with the iPhone 11 Pro Max because of the new three camera setup. It works well enough that it's not caused any issues, but me just being a little bit of a perfectionist, I like it to fit exactly, and it just doesn't. My problem solved now, I've got the iPhone 11 Pro Max case with the 17 mm thread built in, but if you're buying this lens and you're not picking up one of those cases, it's just something to bear in mind. Now, this is only for the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Other phones that I've tested on have worked perfectly fine, so depending on your model, I'd just be a little bit wary that the clip might not fit perfectly, but it's like I said, it's given me no issues whatsoever and the image quality has been great. Which brings me along to the sharpness of this lens. Now with this lens, I've had no decrease in sharpness whatsoever. It's been sharp across the whole board and the image has looked absolutely fantastic. There's not really a whole lot I can say, to be honest with you, when it comes to the sharpness area because the lens performs so well. Again, when reading this lens, it says that it's no distortion. And looking at this clip that I shot just on some bricks here, you can see for yourself there that there is no distortion whatsoever. So the claims that they're making of it having no distortion is 100% true. This lens just performs amazingly. Now, when it comes to sort of the overall design of this lens, one thing that I don't like about it is there's no filter mounts, which I'd really like Yolanzi to make and produce a filter mount that you can put over the end of this telephoto lens to attach CPL or ND filters. That's a must in my opinion. For me, shooting that B-roll with this lens, I had the perfect lighting conditions. So an ND filter or anything like that was not necessary on that shoot. But certainly there's always gonna be times that you're gonna be shooting in less than ideal conditions. And you're probably gonna be shooting in less than ideal conditions more than you're gonna be shooting those perfect conditions. So Yolanzi, please, if you could make a filter mount for this lens, then this is gonna be the ultimate telephoto lens setup, especially being how portable this thing is. Now, like I mentioned, I've got the case, I've got the lens. It is ridiculously portable. I can keep that case on my phone because it's essentially just like a phone case with the 17 mil threads built directly into it. So the, the need for any sort of external cage or anything like that when I'm out in the field is gonna be now void. I don't need that. And I'm also just able to screw on these lenses directly to 
the telephoto lens or the main camera lens on my phone and just start shooting straight away. So it's very quick, it's very easy to just start shooting and get set up and start creating content, which is what I really love. But yeah, that's just something that I thought I'd mention about the no filters on there. If they could make a filter mount, I'm sure they can. That would be absolutely amazing. Now the lens caps that come with the lens itself are absolutely great. They pop on the front, they pop on the back and there's no fear of losing those lens caps because of the way they fit on there so nice and snug. There's no chance of them accidentally coming off and being lost, which is really, really nice. It comes with all the cleaning cloth and everything that you're gonna need to clean your lenses because like I always say, we've got to keep those lenses clean. Now, like I've said before, to get bokeh on a smartphone, just using the native lens, you're gonna to have to get quite close to the subject that you're actually filming. Now, when you're filming using the 65 mm telephoto lens on your phone, this is gonna allow you to get a little bit further back from your subject, maybe twice the distance, and still get that nice shallow depth of field. Again, like all of these smartphone lenses, you're not gonna get an absolutely ridiculously blown out background, but it's gonna give you a nice little bit of shallow depth of field in the background there, and it's gonna make your footage look a little bit more professional and more pleasing to the eye. So I'm gonna be honest with you on this one, there's not really much to say about this lens. It's an absolute great lens for 25 pounds it's as cheap as you can physically go with these types of lenses and i've had no issues with it it's performed absolutely amazingly so i was going to add low light into this video but to be honest with you after using a lot of telephoto lenses with my phone lately none of them actually seem to cut out a lot of light at all nothing even worth talking about anyway so i thought i'd miss that one out if you purchase this lens, you're gonna be happy with the low light performance. It's gonna perform pretty much exactly the same as it would just using your native camera app. So that I just thought I'd mention it, but it's something that I just don't think needs to be tested with these lenses because they just perform just as well as the native camera, to be honest. So yeah, this is, uh, I don't know, it just seems like it's been a bit of a short one, this video, but to be honest with you, there's not really a lot to talk about. I mean, it's a great lens, it's sharp, there's no distortion low light capabilities are just as good as the native camera app and just it's ease of use it's portable there's so many good things about it there's literally one negative that the fact that you can't attach filter mounts to it but apart from that it's a great great lens and if you spent 25 pounds on this one you're going to be happy i can guarantee you so thanks for watching guys it's been an absolute pleasure as always and i will see you in the next one peace